In today's video, we will teach you how to create your own animation using an image and artificial intelligence. By using AI tools, you can easily create cartoon videos with just one click. All you need is an image and with the help of AI tools, you can create your animation and attract a lot of views to your channel leading to great earnings. Let's get started. To create your animation, you will first need to visit the website leapix.com. Once you are on the website, you will see an interface where you can sign up either through Google or other means. After signing up, click on the plus arrow to upload your image and add animation to it. For creating the image, you can use leonardo.ai and check out my channel for a video on how to create images from there. If you need more details, I'll make a video explaining it thoroughly. Once you have uploaded your image and added animation, click on the download button and your animation clip will be ready. You can create animation for all your images with these settings and make them look fantastic. You don't need any extra skills. The website and tools will take care of the animation for you. So go ahead and create as many animations as you want and make your images come to life. Next, we have another excellent AI tool called Pika Labs, which allows you to create animation. To get started, visit the Pika Labs website and click on Join Peter to join the Discord server. Once you are on the Discord server, you can upload the images you want to animate and type a prompt specifying the desired animation. For example, if you want an animation of running with hair moving in the wind, you can type that as a prompt and the AI will create the animation accordingly. As you can see, it generated the animation perfectly based on my prompt. You can also create animations for other images by uploading them and providing appropriate prompt. After adding your prompt and image on Discord, the AI will take a few seconds to generate your animation. Now I will add some images and also include some values to explain to you how you can create images effectively. For example, I added this image and used the value GS5 and Motion 2. Let me explain the meaning of this value. When I use GS5, it represents the graphical level, which determines the amount of movement in the animation. You can see how much movement it has, but if I were to use GS10, the legs and hands would move even more. It depends on how much movement you want. Regarding the motion value, I used motion 2, which controls the intensity of motion in the animation. I were to use motion 1.5 in the next prompt, you can see that the movement and even the leaves in the background move more. To achieve the best result, I recommend keeping the GS value between 15 and 25 and avoiding the value above 25. As for the motion value, you can increase it up to 2 but not beyond. By adding this value, you can generate high quality animation for your video. Now, let's see how well the animation is ready using this process. Amazing! Picalabs is an excellent AI tool that allows us to create animation seamlessly. We have successfully created our animation using Picalabs. So, let's learn how to generate animation using text prompt. Here, I'll type and you can do the same for the animation you want. As you can see, Picalabs generated the animation exactly as per my prompt. If you are not satisfied with the animation, you can easily regenerate it and the best part is it's completely free. This method allows you to create animation just by typing text prompt. I have created two animations using this fantastic tool. Let's move on to the next tool that we will use to create our animations, the video editing app CapCut. With this app, you can easily add animations to your images. It's a simple and easy process. Just add your image to the app and then click on the style option followed by 3D zoom. This way, your animation will be ready. It's incredibly straightforward and you can add animation to all your images effortlessly. Now, let's see how CapCut generates our animation using all our images. It's truly amazing and incredibly simple. Let's move on to our next AI tool, Genome AI. To use this tool, you will need to sign up first and you can do so with your Google account. Once you are signed up, you will see an interface where you can click on upload option to add the image you want to animate. After uploading your image, the interface will prompt you to type a prompt for the animation you desire. I recommend sticking with the prompt that Genome AI automatically suggests since it generates impressive animations. Now you can increase the video length and by clicking on make video, the animation generation process will start and within a few seconds your animation will be ready for download you can easily add animations to your images and convert them into animation video in just a few seconds additionally if you want to generate animation using only text you can click on the create option type your prompt in the box and click on generate image once the image is generated click on make video and your video will be ready let's see the amazing animations that genome ai has generated for us
Let's explore the next AI tool, Runway Gen 2. Its interface is quite straightforward. First, you need to sign up and you can use your Google account for this purpose. There are four plans available and you can begin with a free trial. Once you are in, click on Image to Video where you can add your images, type a prompt and click on Generate. Within a second, your video will be ready for download. As you can see, I added an image and type Flying as prompt Runway Gen to create the animation exactly as I wanted. Even though I didn't specify a detailed prompt, it added an amazing and realistic animation to my image. You can easily add animation to all your images using this tool. So let's compare the animations from the tools to see which one has the more professional and easy to generate animations. In my opinion, Runway Gen 2 animations appears more professional and user friendly. Please let me know your favorite tool in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials. Thank you for watching.